everyone back to Ray Games and welcome to episode 9 of the Zero Overall Franchise for MLB The Show 22. This is kind of the midway season 1 update for all of you. We are pretty much at the all-star break. Uh, we're 0-98 to start out the season. And this is the game I was talking about right here. If we just view box score, look at this. Obviously, no runs, so it doesn't matter. They scored 28 runs in the second inning and the eighth inning. Then you have 119 runs in the third, 87 in the fourth, 93 in the fifth, 21 in the sixth, which was the lowest they've scored. And then you have 175 in the seventh, 28 in the eighth, at 68 in the ninth, which brings that total to 619 runs. And I just see here's the, all the stats for everything. So that is that. And if we just take a look at the uh, where's the all star voting at? Awards all star voting. If we just take a look. Gabriel Morano's catcher, Frank Sindual, Josh Naylor for third base, Andres Jimenez, Jose Ramirez with a hundred with one million two hundred fifty six thousand votes. Shortstop Ahmed Rosario, Oscar Mercado, which I believe that was a, no. Oh, Mike Trout beat Miles Straw because he was uh, injured. Okay, thank the God. So Mike Trout is. In the All-Star game, and then Fran Mill Reyes, but Mike Yastrzemski was in a cl pretty decent close second. So, obviously we went 0-98, but I want to obviously want to show you how he did. So Braden went; he's batting 200 on the season. Obviously, we have a new guy that um, uh, Summer requested. So, Braden Johnson batting 200 with uh, a home run in RBI. Obviously, we're not going to worry about him because he'll be in uh, make his debut. Sam has got no home runs, but batting a 202 average with 12 RBIs. Ash Ketchum, the man, the myth, the legend, at a three overall, two RBIs, one of 147 average. Summer with a 137 average. Uh, Wild with five RBIs and a 191 average. Uh, designated hitter Joe Random with five RBIs and a 173 average. Shortstop Joe Random, two RBIs and a 176 average. And left field Joe Random, one RBI and um, a 111 average. So the best two, the top two hitters are Braden and Sam. I think Sam was an all-star. I do not remember. But if we take a look at the pitching rotation, Henry is has a 67 ERA, a 67.93 ERA. That is not good for Sam. Not, I mean, for Henry, not at all. And then Joe Random with a 17.1. Joe Ran this Joe Random, because this was the Joe Random that gave up the um, 619 runs. But he's down to a 122 ERA, which is awesome. Joe Random with a 14 and then a 68 ERA. And then, obviously, our bullpen sucks. So the lowest ERA is this Joe Random right here with a 12.24 ERA. That's our lowest right there. Our lowest, which is insane. And then if we take a look at the injured list. Nafumi Iwatani is has a torn finger ligament, but he's po he posted up he's posting up a 10 ERA, which is awesome. And I actually want to see. No way. Hold on. I want to see this. I want to see who is in the All Star game. Quick manage. I want to see. It's probably not any of our pitch. No, it's not one of our pitchers. There's no way. Oh my god! Sam made the all-star game. What? What? 
What? A four overall made the All-Star game. Oh my god. That is insane. What the hell, man? That's crazy. But, um, I, I don't believe, I, I can't believe Sam made the All-Star game. What the flip? Holy crap. That's unbelievable. So, that is pretty much like the update mid-season. Um, so we're going to pretty much sim until maybe we play. We're probably going to play the second game of the Reds for the final, or the second to last game of July. Actually, no. Let's play the final game of July because that'll be the only game this episode that we play. And hopefully, you know, we can, uh, the second half can be better. Maybe we can win a game. But who knows? So I'll just see you all when we get into the game of episode number nine. And here we are in the game for the final game for July as we are 0-107, losing 107 straight, which is absolutely insane. A record for sure as... As you can see, there are these stats. So technically, they actually gave up five runs this entire series. We lost three to two, then we lost ten to two, and now we're gonna be up against Tyler Mao, which is insane. And obviously, no crowd reaction noise. No crowd reaction noise. That's insane. But here he is, Mr. Diesel Busters, up at the plate. He was batting a 175, so this is technically a debut for him. Yeah, you know, yeah, this is technically a debut for the man. But let's see how he bears, as that's going to be a foul ball. If we do manage to win a game, that would be insane. I highly doubt it though, as Diesel Busters is gonna ground out to short for out number two of the inning. And now here comes Sam at the plate, who freaking made the All Star game, like I said, which is abso absolutely great. I did not expect Sam to make the All Star. Hell, I didn't even expect any of our guys to make the All Star game. But Sam made it happen, as that is going to be out number three for the inning. Oh, there's the crowd noise. There we go. And now we are in the bottom of the first inning here. As Yeah, look at that. 0-107, which is a wonderful thing. Not really a wonderful thing. It's not a good thing. So now here's the 0-2 to Sam. And that's going to be a foul ball. So we have a right fielder at um, our hands. As Tommy Pham's going to strike out. As this is the Joe Random that has over 100. Over the over 100 ERA. Going to try to bump it down to maybe like a 90 ERA or something like that today. Or something like that. Hopefully we can bump it down. To a 90 or one maybe below 110 ERA something like that as that will be a another ball so 3-0 count let's strike 3-1 and now here comes the pitch Donovan Solano is gonna get a base hit into center field as that's gonna be the first hit of the ball game for Cincinnati and that's and now here comes Mr. Tyler Stevenson now for Cincinnati. And Tyler Stevenson is gonna hit a big fly ball out to right, and that'll be probably the first run of the ball game for the Reds. As he's gonna go home, Solano, and yes, it is a one-nothing ball game here in Cincinnati. That is not good at all. 31 to 69, more like a hundred to zero winning percentage because you know they ain't gonna do crap so now here's Joey Votto at the dish so now here's the pitch the 0-2 and Braden oh 
Wait, maybe still. No, Joey Votto is going to get a single. An uh, infield single. And now here's Tyler Naquin at the plate. There's still a, some time left to request your players. Because I think once all the positions are filled, I will not be accepting any more players, I don't think. So now here's Braden. Gonna come in and it will be caught. Out number two. So once all positions are filled, because we need a short... We still are looking for... What positions? I think only shortstop and left field are the only two, like, infield positions that do not have anybody taken. So, as of right now. Because I know in Season 2, we'll have somebody... In our one, of our one of our draft picks, as Jonathan India is gonna hit a high fly ball, and it will be gone. And now that will be a four nothing ball game here in Cincinnati. That is not good at all. Four to nothing in the bottom of the first. As Diesel Busters will he make his first play? No, he will not. Coming from the alternate universe, I don't know why people say he's a bad person, because I don't know. It's just dumb how things are, as that will be a double for the seventh batter of the game. So now, here comes Nick Senzel at the dish. So Nick Senzel is going to foul this one off. As there, so we have 23 pitches for Mr. Joe Random in the game. And now here comes the 0-2 to Zenzel. That will be a high fly ball to Joe Random. Out number three as we are down 4 to nothing in the bottom of the first. That might be the game. That honestly might be the game. And now here's Ash Ketchum to the plate. Who's batting a 148 ER uh, batting average, which is absolutely low. And that will be out number one of the inning. And now here comes Summer, who's batting 131 on uh, this season. So not too bad. And Summer's going to hit a ground ball to third base for out number two. And now we have Wild at the plate, who's batting a 207, which I think might be the highest batting average on the team. But I cannot remember. As five RBIs, which is tied for the highest amount of RBIs. Really? No, the highest amount, the third highest RBIs on the team, I saw. Oh boy. <laughs> And now that will be a ball 2-1 count for Mr. Wild. If he walks here, it's going to be plus one to his uh, vision. By the way, and this might drop it. Oh, barely. Barely drops. Oh, boy. Barely dropped. And Wild's going to hit a high fly ball, and it will be caught by the center fielder. Wild's got 12 contact versus righties, which is absolutely insane to me because that is a lot, and I mean a lot, a lot, a lot. But everybody, every Joe Random is boosting, is slowly going, a lot of people are going up in the stats, which is absolutely amazing. So now here's the 0-1 to Brett Phillips, and this is going to be a high fly ball to Braden Johnson. And Johnson will make the catch for out number one of the inning. I'm going to try to get at least through two innings here. As here's Tommy Pham. That is ball one, uh, strike one. I'm sorry. So now here's the 0-1. And Tommy Pham will fly in a liner to left, and that will be caught by the Joe Random out in right, uh, out in left field. And now here's Donovan Solano, surprisingly getting has the highest average on the Reds. As Donovan Solano is going to increase that even more as he hits a single to center field. 
for out no, uh, for the first hit of the inning. Maybe even a lot more. So now here's Tyler Stevenson who hit an RBI and maybe he'll be safe. No, that is it. Let's send to the top of the fifth inning and see what happens there. See you all in the top of the fifth. At top of the fifth, we are down 14 to nothing as that is not good at all. And Ash will hit a high fly ball and it will be caught. We are getting shut out. Or we're getting no hits, actually. So Tyler Mouth pretty much throwing a perfect game here in Cincinnati. We haven't been shut out completely. We haven't gotten no hit yet, which I am happy about. But this could be the game where we do get no hit. And if that happens, then... Who knows? It's Summer's gonna strike out for just. Oh man, another strikeout. Tyler Mouth, only number two. Oh my gosh. But now here's Wild at the dish. And Wild might break it. Jonathan India, safe. Wild's gonna get a base hit. It is broken. And Wild is. I'm happy. Wild broke it up. And. Oh man. Whew. That was not. Oh my gosh, that was close. Now here's Joe Random. On. Uh, who's batting 135 on the season? Who does have a home run, surprisingly. Like Braden Johnson does. And Joe Random's gonna hit a high fly ball to right and will be caught. Wild breaks up the perfect game. And now. And now we're going to go ahead and call in Joe Random, who has a 62 ERA. So, that is amazing. Oh, come on! That should have been caught. That should have been caught. What the heck? An E6, yeah. I figured it was an E6. Because that should, that should be, this should be out number two, not out number one of the inning. My goodness. Uh, oh my lord, that is not good at all. Uh, whatever, but Max, Scrock, or, or Max, whatever. Here's the 01, that'll be a foul ball. As now here's the 02 to Max, and this will be out number two of the inning. Gonna go ahead and get Max, not gonna worry about the lead runner. Ash throws him out, and now here's Nick Senzel at the plate. So Nick Senzel, one for three on the day. Hopefully we can do some damage here. And Nick Senzel is going to hit a high fly ball, not caught. As Joe Random is going to stay at, the, it's going to stay at the wall. And oh, he's coming home! He's coming home, and he's out. Joe Random throws out Nick Senzel trying to go for the inside the park home run but does not get it. Oh my gosh, what an amazing asset that was. Oh man, but now here's Joe Random at the plate batting 175 and that's going to be a strikeout. Oh no. This is not good. As that will be strikeout number three for only for only number three for Tyler Mao. What? Oh boy. As Joe Ram coming up to the plate who's batting 167, you can see on the Great American Ballpark scoreboard. We only have like two more months left of the season for season number one. But we're gonna do our very dang best to try to get whatever we can and get whatever we can get. As Braves get, oh, that was a pretty high fly ball for sure. As home run number, as Braden has a home run, 
which is insane. It was during a simulation. It wasn't during a simulated game. It was the game against Tampa Bay. So, that ball one. As that's going to be a single for Braden Johnson right there. Sorry about the little silence right there. A little whispering or whatever. But now here's Diesel Busters at the plate. So Braden's going to get a nice little boost to his stats. Oh my god, what the heck? That is not good at all. As Diesel Busters batting 174. Four on the season who grounded out his the first two times and Diesel Busters is gonna get a base hit in the right and the left field his first base hit as a Baltimore Oriole that is what we needed and now here's Sam at the plate could get an RBI in here if he hits one into the gap and he might he might be able to I think he's going to Diesel Busters is gonna go three and that's going to be an RBI! RBI single for Sam! That's going to throw in Diesel Busters to third! Holy moly! That's awesome! And now here's Ash Ketchum at the plate! And Ash is going to get an RBI himself! And it's 15-2 to two now! What an inning! What an inning for the Orioles! Let's see if Summer can get it done. Let's see if Summer can add some more. And I think Summer can. And she will. She will add some more. Please be safe. No. No. Oh, my gosh. But we do get some runs in, though. We do get some runs in. Fif and it is 15 to 2. Cincinnati holy crap that would have been awesome if it was 15 to 3 though but I will take 15 to 2 all day any day of the week if this is what we lose by then I am happy because Sam and Ash will get plus they're gonna get plus one to a bunch of different stats so now here's Tommy Pham, who's two for four on the day. And Diesel Buster is going to make his first defensive catch for out number two of the inning. And now here's Joe Random at the dish. Donovan Solano at the plate. As here's the 0-1. That is strike two. The curveball there. And now here comes the 0-2. That's going to be ball one. One, two count for Mr. Donovan Solano. Here comes the pitch. As this will be a high fly ball to Ash Ketchum. Ash Ketchum going to get there in time for out number three. So let's send him to the top of the ninth. Maybe we can score some more. Let's see what happens. See you all. Top of the ninth we go. It looks like top of the ninth. Hunter Strickland coming in to pitch for the Reds. As we are now losing 22 to 2. So, that's not good. And Ash is going to hit high fly ball, and it will be caught by the center fielder. Look at how many Reds fans there are, because they are just bored and bored. So, I'm surprised that, I thought there would be more fans here. As Summer is at the dish, who's one for three on the day. Thought it would get a sing thought would get an RBI single, but not quite. She did get a single in uh, the sixth inning, but did not uh, did not get that RBI for the plus one clutch. So that is sad. And now here's the one two to Summer. That's gonna be a ball two 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 count for Summer now. This is like unbelievable. And that's going to be a foul ball. Right now, a ball. 3 2 count for Summer. Maybe she could walk here. No! Gets caught looking. Strike three. Caught looking is Summer. And now here's Wild at the plate. 
Wilds down to the last out. Orioles down to the last out. And Wilds going to keep the game intact with a single to center field. Oh, my goodness. Wild is just... Oh, man. And now here's Joe Random at the plate. And Joe Random will hit a high fly ball that will be caught. Final score, 22 to 2. Cincinnati, we scored two runs. If you did enjoy episode number 9, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to Ray Games if you have not already. We're still looking for that first win of the season, but we'll see what happens. And I will see you all in, ep in the... 10th episode as we hit double digits for the series and I will see you all in episode 10 starting out the August portion getting close to end of year number one I'll see you all then have a great day everyone and see you all in the 10th annual episode